Times Cafe. I can't wait to hit the new games near Splash Bar. I just found my new favorite slot. Morongo. Good food, good fun, good times. For everybody. I started losing my teeth. I'm too young for that. Replacing your teeth with a dental implant's GPS smile is about more than just teeth. I'm very thankful because this really changes a person's life. Teeth is what we do, but at the end of the day, that's not really what it's about. It's about patient's confidence. GPS provides people with missing teeth, failing teeth, or unstable dentures full mouth dental implants. Just take that step, take that chance. The doctors are amazing. Call GPS today. 2024, your vote matters. And in an election year like no other, learn the dates and deadlines, the candidates, the props, and how and when to vote. All your questions answered. Your one-stop election spot. This is NBC4 News at 5. Good evening and thank you for joining us here at 5. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Kathy Vara. It has been a wet start to the weekend here in Southern California and up north, a major blizzard conditions impacting roads and ski resorts. Let's get right to meteorologist Stephanie Elmo, who's tracking the storm in your first alert forecast. Stephanie. Right now we're checking out this live shot here of downtown Los Angeles, where here in this area, we are pretty quiet. We have some quiet spots. We're dealing with that on and off showers as we continue today. Mostly cloudy skies. I know as earlier today, I was talking to Kathy. On my way back, uh, on my way here to work, we actually saw some peaks of sunshine. So some areas are looking at some showers, some peaks of sunshine. Downtown LA, 59 degrees. But let's check out the first alert radar network, what we have going on. We have some scattered activity across the area. Some light showers here around the basin, right around the area mountains too. We're dealing with the rain and snow mix as we continue here today. Right around Compton, we're looking at some light showers around this area, right around Downey. Very scattered in nature, also dealing with that precipitation. Went right around Crest Line, around Big Bear, you're looking at some snow. Let's take a look at the wind gusts and what we can expect. So we're dealing with gusty winds around 40 miles an hour at times, right around the high desert. Victorville, 26 mile per hour wind gusts right now. High wind warnings remaining in effect at this time. We have winter storm warnings in place. You see the areas in pink from Big Bear to Wrightwood. We're looking at some snow here as we continue here today. And as we head into tomorrow, we have dropping snow levels right around 4,500 feet as we head into tomorrow. So a reminder, avoid those passes as we continue here today. Here's what we can expect So for the rain on and off as we continue. The gusts, we can expect to those gusty conditions at times. Snow levels will be changing yet again, right around 4,500 feet as we head into tomorrow. We'll time it out for you coming up here in just a bit for now. Back to you. Stephanie, thank you. Meantime, the massive winter storm is making travel nearly impossible up in the Sierra Nevada mountains. You can see conditions out there right now. Plenty blowing. It is a blizzard like conditions out there. This is actually a shot of mammoth as well. Kathy. Well, this is a warning everyone not to travel to the area this weekend. Interstate 80 completely closed because of the heavy snow we've already seen. There have been several spin outs that have also been wind gusts of more than 100 miles per hour. And some parts of the region could get up to 10 feet of snow before the storm system moves on. And despite the rain, people are marching in downtown LA in a pro-Palestinian rally. It all comes as Israel and Hamas near a possible ceasefire deal. NBC4's Julia Ding flew over the rally in News Chopper 4 this afternoon. Jonathan and Kathy, massive group of protesters here in downtown LA. We are overhead near 2nd and Spring Street. You can see this massive crowd. They don't appear to be marching or we can't hear any chanting, of course, from overhead, but a close-up shot of these signs and banners and flags they're holding show signage here saying things like hands off Rafa and genocide and free Palestine. Now early reports indicate several thousand people here in downtown traffic impacts up and down both Spring Street and Broadway. We are not hearing any indication of uh, vandalism here um, and there does not appear to be any sign of counter protesters. We are overhead in News Chopper 4. Back to you in the studio.
Julia Ding, thank you. Meanwhile, Governor Newsom was in Southern California today to push for Prop 1, which focuses on the homeless and mental health systems. But the governor also facing backlash about Panera Bread and California's minimum wage law. NBC4 chief political reporter Conan Nolan asked him about it during a one-on-one -on -one interview then.